cuatro, ocho, seis, tres, seis, uno, cero, seis, ocho, cuatro, seis, dos, cero, 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 siete, tres, cero, uno, seis, cinco, cuatro, cuatro, cero, tres, siete, dos, uno, cero. This is a video that is on the part of my last video of HMO1. This is a continuation of it and in this video we're going to be telling you all the different problems with it. First off we have HMO1 mixing with S06S and S06. You can clearly hear all three transmissions. Let's play. You can also hear in this clip with HMO1 where you can hear a random clock in the background of the transmission. HMO1 is just a really poorly operated number station because you can hear the clock in the background. It sounds like um, a Windows XP app. Let's play this video now. I just think HMO1 has just got a lot of issues um, up ahead. Now you can also hear the variant of MO8A um, which is a variant that replaced HMO1 um, in, and then randomly it becomes HMO1. Um, so I'm going to play the clip right now. Now obviously there's been a lot of conspiracy theories with HMO1 and why you can hear um, MO8A becoming HMO1. We have no clue why. Um, imminently HMO1 is a number station that I find very hard to listen to because even when we've decoded the files they are really hard and HMO1 was used for the biggest bust back in 2014 where a lot of Cuban spies actually got caught um, to HMO1 and they all got arrested and charged. HMO1 is a really poorly operated number station and we definitely do not want to see uh, HMO1 doing something like this again. Obviously we have no idea with all the clock sounds and why HMO1 is doing all of this. As I said, we just don't know. Um, this will be the last ever video on HMO1, hopefully, um, explaining what HMO1 has been doing. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please put them in the description. Thank you. 